I'm Tim. I'm Matt. We're brothers. We're also chippies. And we're well known for coming second. And we also like to renovate. And definitely you know, picked up a bit of style too. We have scored the backyard this week. We are ready to do some renovating. Oh, I can't Tim. wait. Let's get oh, out and get stuck into get it. Stuck into it. Ooh. Ooh. It's not starting off too bad. Yeah. Considering there's so many plants, it's very sparse. Well, it's very... a nice sort of blank canvas though. You can probably work a little bit of magic out here. What is this? <laughs> it's grown in there. <laughs> it's grown roots. Yeah. Well, I think the obvious things are we're going to do something about the concrete. I reckon we get some of that decking. We can just literally lay over the top, yep. cover most of this concrete, maybe back some pebble concrete so you can actually come out, really dress this area up. Maybe something about the facade. There's opportunity here to make it a little bit more intimate. I think you've got to make sure you walk out and there's a bit of a wow. I've got to keep that tree, I reckon. Yeah, well, nice mature tree like that. We need some maturity out here. God knows you're not bringing any of it. <laughs> Research is key, so never be scared to look online, you know, go on Pinterest, even pop your head over your neighbour's fence. Might get some inspiration. What's our motto? Look online and save some time. So... I'll show you that decking I was talking about. Oh yeah. yeah. The beauty of this, like you literally put it over concrete, you can put it over everything, and if you're renting, you can take it away with you. Pebble Creek. I reckon that's gonna look really good there. Oh, Pebble Creek. Yeah. yeah, that's nice, quick and easy too. Even yeah, you can do it. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Backyard really needs a massive overhaul. I think we get in there, we pull all these big bushes out, and give the whole thing a do-over. We're gonna wax some fence toppers on the fence. Paint the fence a darker colour. Modular decking to cover this uneven ground. Add lighting. That really changes the mood. We can bring out some table and chairs out here. We can build our own bench seat. I really love those yuccas. They look a bit messy over there. I think we should take them out, pop them in some nice big white pots. Massive shout out to the Bunnings team members today for coming down and giving us a hand. We're going to start with a blank canvas, so I think we're just going to rip all this out. Make it happen. <laughs> Rightio. Off to Boonings. What do we have to get? We've got stuff to get. We need decking. We need plants. We need outdoor furniture. We need... I feel like we need a theme song. We're going to Burnings. Oh, boy. <laughs> I like the lyrics. I just don't like the rest of it. <laughs> the great thing about the modular decking is it screws together like a big puzzle. Anyone at home can do it. So we need four of these guys for each one. Correct. Six by four? Correct. Six by, uh, what's six oh, by four? 24. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> it is right. Picking outdoor lights is pretty daunting, especially when you've got about eight million to pick from. Um, sometimes I only prefer two. Go on with this one, I think it fits the brief. I think she's a beaut. We're definitely going to grab a few of these screens and whack them in the backyard. Probably bring in some uh, vertical gardens and some flower pots in there and, you know, just make it a bit more homely out there. Matt, you ready to go, mate? Come on, get him, walk in! Oh, jeez Louise. <laughs> So trees like this, I don't think we want to get rid of. Because they're mature, they're worth a bit of money and you don't just need to throw everything out. Instead of being an eyesore in the corner, why don't we get creative and try and make it a bit of a feature, I think. Just give it a bit of love and care, a little bit of pruning, and tidy it up a bit, just so it looks a bit nicer. With painting, you always want to make sure your prep is spot on. Dwayne and Emily are uh, getting stuck into the taping and prepping it up for me. We've gone with the colour Tim Cat, which is a really nice light grey. It should really hit that coastal feel. We're giving this pebble resurfacer a go today. It's, it's new out, but it's really simple and easy to use. First off, we'll rack an aluminium trim in, just to get our height. Going righty, Timothy. Going right, mate. You know you've got to put a coat of resin down here first. Yeah, so what I like to do, I like to do things in order of how they're supposed to happen. In the bucket, you get resin and pebbles. You just basically mix them together and trowel them on. Getting on the trails, that calms you down. Yeah. Tames a wild beast. Done and dusted. Done and dusted. Oh, yeah. Well done, boy. Woo! Nice work. <laughs> How 
how good is this looking? Just want to say a big thanks to the Bunnings crew for helping us out. Woo! Woo! Nice work, team. The beauty of this modular decking is it goes in like that. Once you get your frame put together, you actually got these little adjustable legs you can get in different heights, which then allows you to get it all level and straight. Once that's all done, basically level it all out, whack your decking on, and away you go. Being modular, you don't have to just run it in linear patterns, you can actually play around with it a bit, so we've decided to just spruce it up and just do something a bit different. The old dance floor decking definitely didn't have to be dancing to me, I just do a bit of a... That's enough me, Dave. It's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> if I had left this up to Tim, this yuck would be in the bin. But this is the benefit about recycling plants. Look at that. Our first plant together. That's a stunner. The succulent wall there, Timothy. Looking pretty good, eh? Yeah, we picked out these succulents because they're very low maintenance and full sun and they thrive off it, so it should look nice. Yeah, olive trees can be used as uh, screening plants. They grow big, um, they're hardy. Tolerates coastal exposure. There you go, tolerates coastal exposure. And light and frost. frost. So we're racking our brain. We're trying to work out a really easy way just to do like a bench seat. Yeah, testing out these uh, cinder blocks. And so we've, uh, we've found some Merbu frames. We're thinking we can use these for supports. Hang them on top, press a nice, easy bench seat. If you're renting too, it's a great idea because you literally just take it with you. Right, mate, it looks like there's still a heap to do here, but it's actually not that much. We get all hands on deck, yep. we get the rock in, we get this garden bed in, then we'll start rolling out the turf, plants in, mulch. Let's do it! All right. instant turf, it actually rolls out really easy. Cut it with a handsaw, and away you go. Beep beep, let us through. Not after that terrible joke. <laughs> All right, guys, this is looking pretty darn good. Let's style this baby. What do you reckon? Woo! Do it again. Bring it in. Woo well done. Well, Sorry I'm wet, someone's a jerk, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> My favourite part of the backyard is definitely the deck. It's really the hero piece in the whole backyard. It's changed the whole feel of the space. The Pebble Creek is such a great way to just transform that old bit of concrete, just add a little bit of bling. The bespoke day bed, bench seat, I think is a real winner. Oh, the olive trees, they're gorgeous. Who doesn't love olive trees? Can't believe how a lick of paint has made this place go from 1995 to a coastal dream. Makes you want to sit out here, makes you want to stay out here. And when it gets dark, the mood lighting. Those festoon lights, I tell you what, they've really turned the deck into a party deck. Now let's get the party started. Woo! I'm really worried that you're going to do too much neutral. I'm going to paint a wall and I will do it while you're not looking. <laughs> Hi, we're the Rachels. We've got the lounge room and hallway. I've got Shindig. I've got Jim Byron Bay. Take this wall back to white. I feel like I'm drowning. Would you like a snorkel? <laughs> okay, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do this. If you like what you've seen, don't forget there's plenty more episodes to watch. And remember to hit like and subscribe to the Bunnings YouTube channel.